briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1943 United States tax court case, Georgia School Book Depository, Inc. v. Commissioner, tackled the issue of whether a party has the right to accrue and recognize income for accounting purposes, even if payment has not been received. At the center of the lawsuit was a disagreement over when a broker, who received an 8% commission on all school books sold to the state of Georgia, should have earned commissions when the books were sold or when the state paid for them. The broker in question was responsible for executing contracts with publishers, holding the books, distributing them, collecting payments from the state, holding them in trust, and ensuring the books were returned in a saleable condition. The petitioner had not accrued commissions on state books in 1938 and 1939, as it believed payment would only be made once the free textbook fund, which was financed by a beer excise tax, had sufficient funds. The court ultimately held that the brokerage fees should have been accrued once the broker had performed its duties, even if payment had not been received. This decision was based on the principle that accrual accounting is focused on the right to receive money, rather than the actual receipt of payment. The petitioner was therefore required to report and pay taxes on the earned commissions during the taxable years in question. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.